better than that. We're talking about Jesus. They just lifted up the name of the Lord and all you can do is sit there as good as Jesus has been to you. You ought to be on your feet right now saying I just can't stop praising the name of Jesus. All that he's done for you. I said all that he's done for you just this week alone. He woke you up this morning. He gave you a sound mind. You ought to be praising him right now. stop but the fire is in my bones like Jeremiah I said the fire is in my bones like Jeremiah and I'm trying to be cool I'm trying to be collected I'm trying to be so dignified but the Holy Spirit I feel him moving and I refuse I said I refuse to quench the spirit so neighbor if you don't like it move to the other side of the church because I just can't stop praising him. When I look back over my life, when I look back over this week, I said I just can't stop praising him. I can't stop praising him. He's been too good. He's been too good to me and my family. He's made a way out of no way. That's why I praise him. I praise him because he shielded me. I praise him because he woke me up this morning. I praise him because he gave me breath in my body. I can't stop praising the name of Jesus. spirit in this place I feel in my spirit that some of y'all are heavy I don't know if you're looking for a ceremonial kind of Mother's Day service I'm, we're going to get to honoring the mothers but for all the mothers in the house you know how I am I'm going to let the Holy Ghost go I'm going to let him do what he wants to do now I'm, I know you walked in here heavy but God is here right now to release those burdens God is here right now the spirit of the Lord is in the house now you got to do your part the problem is we expect God to do everything. God says, all I need you to do is open up your mouth and begin to give me a praise. They just stirred up your soul. So now you got to open up your mouth and give me some praise. Give me some glory, God says. Give me some honor in the house. Hallelujah. If you're going to praise him, go ahead and praise him. Give him the highest praise. I dare you right now in Jesus' name to give him the highest praise. Hallelujah. 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 Let's confuse the enemy. Let's confuse the enemy. He thought he had me this week. He thought I was going to come to church and be quiet with what I'm going through. The devil is a lie. The Bible says to let everything have breath. I, I said everything that have breath. And if you got breath in your body, you ought to be saying right now, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. I wish I had about two mothers who would step out and say, you know what, Pastor? I touch and agree with you. I can't stop praising his name for what he did for me and my kids, for what he did for me and my husband, for what he did on my job. I can't stop praising his name. Hallelujah. I can't stop. I can't stop praising the name. I just can't stop praising the name of Jesus. Some of you mothers miss your opportunity to get your praise on and your shout. Don't you let the devil win. I don't know who this word is for this morning, but don't you let the devil win today. I know you're going through what you're going through, but hey, God is in the house. I said help is in the house. I ain't talking about Pastor Henry. I'm talking about help is in the house. I said your help is in the house. Whatever you need, all you got to do is reach out by faith and believe it right now. And I dare you to put a praise on it. Put a praise on that breakthrough. Put a praise on that healing. Put a praise on that miracle. Put a praise on your son getting saved. Put a praise on your daughter getting saved. Put a praise on your husband getting saved and coming to church with you. Put a praise on it right now. Believe in God's going to deliver your husband. He's going to deliver your kids and set them free. Put a praise on it right now. And by faith, God, I believe it. 
I'm believing it. I'm believing it. I'm believing it. I'm believing it by faith. I'm believing it. God is here, church. He said the Lord is in the house. One more time, give God a hand clap of praise in this place. The Spirit of the Lord is in this house. And I'm going to let him have his way. I want to speak to the mothers real quick, if you would. Just please stand if you're physically able. The Spirit of the Lord is moving and I'm going to obey the Spirit and I feel it. Yes, Jesus. Work, God. Move, Holy Spirit. Work. Work. Work, Holy Spirit. Work. Work, 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 work. Work, Holy Spirit. Work. Work. Work, Holy Spirit. Work. Work, Holy Ghost, work. Work, Holy Ghost, work. Work it out. Work, work, work. Move right now in the name of Jesus. Move right now. 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 Move, God. Move, Lord. Move, God. going to shift the service. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Let me give this to you. Paul said to Timothy, we're going to keep this spirit. You guys stay right there. Keep playing. Paul told, Paul writes a letter to Timothy. Timothy being a young preacher, new in the ministry, given this commission and charge by the Apostle Paul to go and set up churches and to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Paul reminds Timothy this, and this is for you mothers. He says, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5, 6, and 7, he says, Timothy, and I'm just paraphrasing it. He says, Timothy, I call in remembrance of an unfringed kind of faith. In other words, a genuine faith that you have. He says, and I'm paraphrasing it, your mother, Lewis, and your grandmother, Eunice, they got saved under my ministry. And I'm saying as if I'm the Apostle Paul. And what your mother and your grandmother had is on you, Timothy. Translation, if we could bring it home to 2024, my subject is a mother's DNA. So basically what Paul was saying is that, Timothy, what was on your grandmother and your mama is on you. The same spirit that rested on them, it rests upon you. The same prayer life that they had is upon you. And I want to talk to the mothers today because maybe, just maybe through life you have forgotten what mama has placed on you DNA think about it don't want to get too deep into this because we're going to pray in a few minutes because I believe God is going to do something this day in our mothers he is going to remind them like Paul is reminding Timothy that there is good in you there is greatness in you there is overcoming power in you and I know right now you may be stuck but your mama is sitting in the glories of heaven and saying my son and my daughter you got what you need on the inside of you now get up from stop crying wipe the tears away and overcome this because it's in you to overcome it mama left us a lot of things and I know many of us look at the physical things but today I want to talk a little bit about the spiritual things one D. The D stands for determination. DNA. All of our mothers, they were so determined. Determined to make ends meet. If mama, all she had was two fish and five loaves of bread, she was determined to feed the whole house. Mama was determined. Even when that door was shut in her life, she stepped back. She called on the name of the Lord and God made a way. Mama just didn't go and sit in a closet and said, woe is me. Mama said, no, my God wouldn't bring me this far. 
And that same spirit that rested upon your mother is also living on the inside of you. I've come this morning just to stir it up in your soul this morning to remind you that you have mama's DNA in you. Determination. Not letting one little small thing trip you up. Not letting the lies and the critics and the naysayers push you in a corner. The devil is a lie. Mama was lied on, but she still showed up to work. Mama was talked about, but she still went out and made a way out of no way. Mama just didn't sit at the house and said, woe is me. They're talking about me. Mama got up. Mama walked by faith and said, though you slay me, yet will I trust you. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know why they're slandering my name. But I am determined to take care of my household. I'm determined to make sure that my kids got the best. I wear raggedy clothes as long as my kid got the best. I am determined. Look at your neighbor and say, Mama was determined. She was determined. She was desperate in making sure we had what we had even though sometimes we would throw it back in her face and we would make complaints and you know when you do all of that mama gonna be determined to give you that too now it's the problem now everybody keep patty caking with their kids you need what mama did I think we turned out okay with a whooping with some switches I think we turned out okay with, with a little belt I think we turned out okay with a shoe because whatever mama could get too close she would throw it at you I think we turned out okay. We okay. We, we okay. Mama was determined. The N in DNA. Mama was nurturing. She was nurturing. You didn't like what she was saying about that boy. Or that girl. You didn't want to hear what she had to say. But looking back now. Over your life, Mama, I thank you for the wisdom that you gave me. That I just didn't settle for him. I just didn't settle for her. Because if I would have settled for him, if I would have settled for her, I would have missed my destiny that God had for me. Mama was nurturing, giving you wisdom when you didn't want to hear it, giving you love when you didn't want to. Mama was nurturing taking some of us to church when daddy was laying in the bed or possibly when daddy was not even at the house mama says we got to get up I don't care where you were on Saturday night but as for me and my house we're going to hear the word of the Lord you going to church mama was nurturing to us giving us the spiritual part the part that, that can't be taken away the part that nobody sees all of us are here today by the grace of God and because mama prayed us through. Is there anybody this morning who can testify that mama had to pray me through? Because I know daddy wasn't thinking about the Lord. Mama had to be praying. Grandma had to be praying. The church had to be praying. Somebody prayed me home that night when I was drinking and driving. Somebody prayed me out of the juke joint. Somebody prayed for me. passed away in 2002 and I found her Bible I still got it to this day and she wrote my name in the Bible at the time I wasn't even thinking about God God was the furthest thing on my mind but I had enough sense because my parents did raise me to know that God is real but I just wasn't following him and I looked at her Bible and she had my name written out and I said man I don't know God when she called on you for me but I'm grateful today that mama was nurturing giving me what I need the A mama had an attitude now the kind of attitude that I'm talking about is not with somebody but mama didn't let nobody mess with you mama didn't let nobody mess with you she would go to war for you to be honest, if we could be honest this morning, Shauna, even when we was wrong, mama would still go to war. But now when we got to the house, mama would let us know the truth. But out in public, mama said, no, I'm going to defend mine. 
I got an attitude. You ain't going to just treat my child any kind of way. You ain't going to just talk to my child any kind of way. That's the way we ought to be with the devil. You ain't going to just harass my son. You just ain't going to harass my daughter. You got to have an attitude while on this spiritual journey, being a mother towards Satan and his tricks and his schemes upon your children. You better have an attitude. You better not just go into your prayer closet just patty caking with Satan. The devil is trying to take your kids out using whomever he chooses to use, whoever makes themselves available. Satan is busy. And mama, you got to have an attitude when you go in that prayer room. I'm telling you, you can't be with all these these and thous and try to be so philosophical. You got to get right down to the nitty gritty of your prayer. God changed my daughter's mindset. She believed that she's a boy, but the devil, you is a lie. I know she's a girl. I know what they said she was to me. And I'm declaring right now that she is a girl. So y'all done missed that. That went all over half of y'all's head right there. That went over everybody's head. But you got to have an attitude and declare that she is a girl can't go in and say God I hope no you don't hope you believe by faith that she will one day recognize who she is because of who you called her to be so I want all mothers to stand at this time I'm going to do something a little different in fact if I could get all mothers to come here to the altar we're talking this morning about a mother's DNA I need you to come I need you to come and just surround yourself here at the altar all mothers all mothers all mothers while the spirit of the Lord is moving all moms just come just come come mothers come Eunice and Lois Lois sorry Lois Eunice and Lois was Timothy's mother and grandmother they installed into him the principles they placed in him good things they demonstrated it as I knew that the church is made up of mostly moms look at it come on up come on up come down moms mothers warriors standing on that rock all of you share one thing in common your mothers In order for you to be called a mother, you had to have had a child, which means you had to go through some pain. All of you share that with each other. At the same time, you also share some other woes that you had to go through. The back talking of sons and daughters, the waywardness of them doing things that you know you didn't raise your kids to do. But I want to this morning stir up the gift that's in you. That's what that's what Paul tells Timothy. He says, listen. He said, wherefore I put in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. So Paul, Paul laid hands on Timothy and prayed for him. I want to stir up in all of you this morning, mamas, what your mother put in you. She put good in you. She put greatness in you. She put a determination in you. She put that nurturing spirit in you. She placed that attitude within you. Now that attitude is not to take it out on each other, but it's to have a determination and and to not give up on stuff. So what I want you mothers to do right now, I, I want you to take your right hand and I want you to place it on your belly. This is considered to be our soul. And I want to just stare your soul, if the, if, the, if the Lord will allow me, to just stare your soul. Maybe you've become, in a sense, um, you're feeling a little bit out of, 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 out of the norm, that this new motherhood is, is different. You know, pe- people raise their kids different now, and, and yeah, rightfully so. But you still got God living on the inside of you. I don't care how the times change, God has not changed nor has the calling that is upon your life as a mother. It takes God to call you to be a mother. Anybody can have a baby, but not everybody can be a mother. And that is a great privilege and that's a great honor that we sometimes take it for granted. So I want you to raise your left hand now and I'm going to just ask God 
to stare your soul. I'm going to come and touch and agree with you. I'm not going to pray for you. I'm going to pray with you. Paul said to stir up the gift, the gift that is within you, that DNA, that determination, that nurturing spirit, that attitude that you ain't giving up on your kids, your grandkids, your great grandkids. I refuse to give up on them, God. God, don't take me out of this earth until I see my son saved, until I see my grandkids coming to church and knowing who you are, Jesus. God, I just want them saved. I just want them sanctified. I just want them filled with your spirit, Lord. I don't want them to just be ball players. I don't want them to just be in the dance recital. Jesus, I need my grandkids. I need my children. I need them saved, God. I don't want them to die and go to hell, Lord. Like mama prayed me through. Lord, encourage me to pray them through. When I get tired and and when I get weary, Holy Ghost, I pray that you would remind me of mama's DNA. That I be determined. I'd be nurturing and that I would have an attitude. Father God, in the name of Jesus, as all mothers are here at this altar, I touch and agree with them, God, that you would restore what maybe life and the enemy has taken from them. I pray right now, God, that you would stir up that gift in these mothers. Stir it up, God, that they'd be like a mama's bear protecting their kids, protecting their grandkids, interceding for them, calling their name before you, God. So determined, Lord, to see it come to pass. I pray right now, God, that you would stir it up in their soul. I pray, God, that they would get up in the wee night hours, praying for their grandkids, praying for their great-grandkids. God, they were tall in the house. They would lay aside food. They would go to praying and fasting God, wanting you to move in their life like mama moved in their life. As mama prayed for them, they're going to pray, God. They're going to pray until they see it. They're going to pray until they see it. They're going to pray until they see it. They're going to pray until they see it, God. They're going to pray until they see it. They're going to take you at your word. They're going to believe that, God, you're not left them. You have not forsaken them. I plead the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood upon these mothers. I plead the blood upon their soul. I plead the blood, God, upon the step that they take, God. I pray that, God, you would restore, you would refresh, you would revive these mothers to take on the task that's at hand. This is 2024. You can't be cute with the devil. God, I pray that these mothers would approach the throne room and they would call Satan for what he's really doing. They would call him out and they would call the angels to be dispatched to watch over their husbands, to watch over their kids, to watch over their grandkids. God, I just pray blessings upon these mothers this morning. May you keep them, God. May you keep their mind. May you keep their body. May you keep their soul. I pray, God, that they get on fire for you, God. They will serve you, love you, God, like never before. Like mama came to church. They're coming now, God, by faith. Like mama believed, God, they're not believing. Like mama walked by faith, they're now walking by faith. Like mama was a prayer warrior. I pray, God, you stir up the warrior within them. Let these mothers know that greater is them, greater is he that's in them than he that's in this world they live Lord you live in them so God I pray that you manifest yourself manifest yourself Jesus manifest yourself in their soul manifest yourself God within them in the name of Jesus I pray these things I pray all mothers right now just lift up a praise in this place just lift up a praise right now mamas talk to God talk to him talk to him Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him, mamas. Just close your eyes and lose yourself. Talk to him, mama. He wants to hear from your mama. Talk to him, mama. Talk to him, mama. Just for a few seconds, talk to him, mama. Talk to the Lord. Talk to him. Mama's DNA. Mama's DNA. I got it. I didn't know I had it until tough times came. But I got what mama had. I got that determination. That's why I'm not quit. Because God, you keep pushing me. I got that nurturing spirit that I'm able to nurture my children. 
I'm able to nurture even my grandchildren. I'm able to nurture even the kids that are in the neighborhood, God. I may not be their biological mother, but I'm their spiritual mother. Lord, help me nurture this generation. And God, help me have an attitude. The attitude is towards Satan and his attacks, oh God. God, we give you praise right now for every mama who stands at this altar. God, they need you. They need you to move. You've heard their cry. You've heard their prayers. And by faith this morning, God, they've stirred up their soul. And the word says, God, that you've not given them the spirit of fear, but of love, peace, and a sound mind. I pray that God, from this altar forward, that every mother at this altar would have a peace of mind. They will believe that, God, you're going to do what, you've, what they've asked you to do. May they walk in peace. May they walk in love and not in fear. May they walk in faith and believe that, God, you're going to do it. Bless them in the name of Jesus. Let's lift up a praise in this place one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, mamas. Come on, mamas. See it by faith right now. See your grandkids. See them protected. See them doing things that you've been praying for them to do. See God moving in their life. See it by faith right now. See it by faith right now. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. You got it right. Yeah, you tripped up a few times. But mama right now that's in heaven, she's looking down the portals of heaven. And she is so proud of you that you got it right. You got it right. That God gave you another chance. Hallelujah. Mama's DNA, Mama's DNA, it's in me. If I pass this microphone around to all of you right now, all of you could give me a testimony of your mama. You cook like her, you walk like her, talk like her. Some of the things that Mama gave us, we really don't like, to be honest. Some of that stuff Mama gave, just, oh, man. But she gave it to me. And it's a part of me. And if you take that away, you might as well take me away because it's my mama. It's my mama. It's my mama. And I miss my mama. Oh, Lord, I miss my mama. Every day, I miss my mama. But I'm grateful for many of you who've been literally like a mother figure to me in a way. If you have your mother here today on earth, you better love her. I'm telling you, you better love her. Because when they close that casket, they put that dirt on that grave, it changes everything. It changes everything. And I miss Ma, but I know Ma left something in me. I know she left some things in me. And it took me 20 some years to finally realize it and get it and understand that I have some of my mama's ways. And I'm proud of those ways. I'm so proud of mama's ways proud that I have mama's DNA determination, nurturing and an attitude I'm so grateful today so mamas if you could do me a favor because y'all have a bond like no other, could you just hug, find you at least three other mothers and just hug them, just, just hug them and let them know that you're in this fight with them that you're in this fight with them you are in this fight together find three mothers and just hug them, you're in this fight together we got a bond like no other. We got a bond like no other. We got DNA. We are together. 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 We got a bond. A mother's bond. A mother's bond. I can't explain it, it's just a mother's thing. I can't explain it, it's just a mother's thing. We got a bond together. We got a bond together. Got a bond together. A mother's DNA. A mother's DNA. A mother's DNA. Moms are special. A mother's DNA. Mama's DNA. Yes, God. Mama's DNA. Oh, I love my mama. I stand with you, mother. I stand with you, Mama. I stand with you, Mother. Let's share our DNA. Let's share our DNAs together. A Mama's DNA. 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 A Mama
mama's DNA. A mama's DNA. Only God can do this. Only God. Only God knows the bond that a mother has. Only God knows the bond that a mother has with other mothers. Only God knows. 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 A mother's DNA. Amen. A mother's DNA. A mother's DNA. Mothers, you are special. Fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. Fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. Fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. Mother's DNA. Now moms, I want to also encourage you. What you declared here at this altar, the devil is going to try to uproot what you believe here at this altar. But you've got to remind Satan that he's trespassing. That's when you get that attitude. You're trespassing, Satan. Yeah, you're trespassing on my family. You're trespassing on my husband. You're, you're trespassing on my son and my daughter, my great grandkids. You're trespassing. And I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. My mama prayed me out. I'm going to pray my son out. Pray my daughter out. At this time, I'm going to ask that Miss Carol would come as she makes a presentation to all of our mothers today. Us wanting to give them some props and give them some love and give them some appreciation. Again, we thank you, we salute you, even the mothers that are online. We, we appreciate you, the mother's DNA right there in your living room, in your car, your house, wherever you may be watching this. We pray that you felt the spirit of the Lord and you know that, again, God has stirred your soul as Timothy, as Paul told Timothy, to stir up that gift in you. you you're a prayer warrior, and I pray that you pray your way through and pray for your family. I turn the service over now to Ms. Carol as she make a presentation to all of our mothers. Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to say Happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you. Um, Kingdom Life Fellowship would like to give you a little token of our love for you and that we just want to just continue to love on you. And the mothers that aren't here, we want to love on you too. So at this time, we have our ushers that is going to give you a little gift to let you know how much we love you. Thank you. Ushers, I mean, mothers, if you could just raise your hand. Ushers are ready to present. Just raise your hand, mothers. Our ushers, they're going to get all this to you. We just want to let you know that we appreciate you. Just a small, small token of appreciation, letting you know that we thank you. We, we love you. Um, we pray that this gift um, blesses you. And may this gift remind you, may this gift remind you of a mother's DNA. May it remind you of that determination that you're going to need. May it remind you of that nurturing spirit. May it remind you of that attitude that you must have. Raise your hands, mothers. Raise your hands in the air like you just don't care. We got you. We got you. We got you. We got you, mothers. Thank God this afternoon for our ushers. We appreciate you being diligently and just making it work. Amen. Raise your hands, mom. We don't want to miss any of you. All moms, we don't want to miss any of you. We don't miss any of you. We don't want to miss any of you. All moms. All mothers. We got two mothers right here. Monica and Laura Ray. Two mothers right here. Just like that, church is over. When you let the Spirit of God move, you get out of here in time. It don't take long to have church when you just get out of the way, let God be God, and that's it. That's all. And that's one thing I truly enjoy and love here at Kingdom Life Fellowship. I love how we just allow the Spirit to move. 
I love how you have learned how to let the spirit flow and that we get up out of here in no time. It's 12.10 and we're out of here. DeMond's going to close us out with a song. Our kids are coming back over. So, I mean, it doesn't take long to have church. It doesn't take long to, to have church. At this time, I am going to open up the doors of the church. If you and God, only if you and God have been conversating I said, God, I want to be, I want, I want, I want. Last week, God blessed us, and we had 13 people to join the church. That is a miracle and blessing from God. 13 individuals felt in their spirit that this is the place, one of the places that I want to meet God. So I'm going to open up the doors of the church at this time and say, Pastor, that's me. I want to be a member right here. I want to be a part of this family. I got to break my mind from saying members because a member, you can you can be in and you can be out. But family, you can't shake me. We are family. So I got to train my mind and start saying a part of this family. So at this time, if you said, I want to be a part of this kingdom, my family, I, I, I want to be a part of it, Pastor. Been praying, been coming, been praying, been coming. And today, by faith, I want to take that step and be a part of this family. Come at this time. Amen. Come at this time. Come at this time. Amen. Come. This is this is where I want to meet God. This is one of several places that I want to meet God. But on Sundays, I want to meet him right here at Kingdom Life Fellowship. Don't forget to support Kingdom Believers. They have some things out there as well um, for you to take up or pretty much buy. Also back here, we're taking uh, family photos, just $5. So hey, you and your family want to get a great photo today? go right back there five dollars it is professionally done so it's just not as i said earlier it's not bootleg or anything like that it'd be great for you to go back and support kingdom believers because again they're doing a great work right here at kingdom life fellowship i'm gonna turn the service over to demon and he's gonna give us just a little bit and demon when you're done could you close us out in prayer gotcha Standing all over this house, all the mothers sing, say hallelujah. It's the highest praise. Sing hallelujah. Let me hear you one more time. Say hallelujah. Oh, sing hallelujah. One more time around. Sing hallelujah. Oh, 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 hallelujah. Come on again, say hallelujah, yeah. Come on, say hallelujah, yeah. While we're right there in the spirit of praise, with lifted hands, God, we honor you today. We thank you for the word that came forth. We know that all mothers are a very important fabric of our community. God, we ask your anointing over every mom in this house. The anointing for patience. The anointing for peace. The anointing for sanctification. The anointing for glorification in you, God, so that they can be the power and the stronghold for their families to defeat the enemy. And Lord, let them proclaim with power that the enemy cannot come into their house. Lord God, let them believe by faith every promise in your word that when that enemy comes, they can stand against the enemy and be that force for their family. Hallelujah, we sing praise to you and we glorify your great name. As we leave this place, we honor you first and foremost, God, because you are the great and mighty king. And as we go our separate ways, keep us like only you can. In Jesus' name, let us all say amen. Go in peace.